What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the F1 Manager Experience. We're heading into the penultimate race of the season. That being, I think it's Las Vegas. First time in F1 Manager. Let's hope we have the pace to impress around here. If we don't, then who cares? It's Las Vegas. We're going to have a big party and drown our sorrows. But uh, we can't go too crazy with the parties because... We're low on cash. 1.3 million left in the projected cost cap. Some people in the comments are saying I've already gone over because of that. But this is a projection based on all of our future spending, uh, including uh, wages and, and running costs. We're still 1.3 mil in the green. That's with like things we manually buy. I can still manually buy $1.3 million worth of stuff. So we're all good chat. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, what, I, what I do want to do is um, do some research for next season because we have a new ATR period, which we've just entered into. 14.3 million. So we're actually pretty good for next year's cash flow. But we're, we're not looking good on current trajectory. Chassis. Research. 7.8% gain. That's most of the losses already accounted for in just this upgrade already and we've probably done maybe i reckon we've done at least two chassis researchers already this season so we're gonna have a great chassis heading into season two and basically get the airflow recovery back as well lovely stuff let's whack one engineer on that doesn't matter because we're not going to be doing any more designing or researching anyway for the rest of the season six engineers fish bash bosh Two and a half mil cost cap remaining. But in essence, our true cost cap remaining is about 600k. Sponsor ob obligations. Change their contract this season. More specifically, they would like to add more race simulator. Higher obligations for later in the year. What does that mean? We'll get more cash. We may lose a little bit of uh, driver developments. But we'll get a lot more cash. So let's do it. Cash is king. So stock of the suspension and rear wing we know research is complete on next year's side pods gearboxes are in poor condition we know also our facility something we haven't looked at in a very long time aren't in the best condition wind tunnel is degrading oh it's shut down temporarily okay team hub is declining these are all things we're going to address next season when we have the cash again but most likely, I'm just going to upgrade things to the next level. So, that's that. Can I manufacture a suspension? <gasps> yes, I can. It's only 300k. Oh, how much do we have left? I can maybe do two spares of suspension. They're only cheap. 300k. Doing two. It won't get done by the end of the season. So, we have to just do one. Let's just do one. And when does that get done for? It gets done for the Saturday of Yas Marina. Okay. Just in case something breaks. We are we are doing that. Alright. We are ready. Literally skating through to the end of the season on the cost cap. Time for the penultimate race of the season. To the race weekend. It's time for qualifying then. The Las Vegas Grand Prix. First time for me in F1 Manager. Let's see if we can put on a good show here. Let's go nice and early with Lando. Hopefully we don't get traffic. He won. Sam Piastri now. Push and deploy. Hopefully no traffic. Hopefully no traffic for Piastri. We only have two sets of tyres. Bottas might have gotten the way. And he very well did. Look at that. Two seconds off. Piastri is not the car we needed for that. We only have two sets of softs. For all of qualifying. Absolute clown. Here we go again. No one get in the way please. Oh, look at this. Of course, it's Alpine again. We're going to watch him. We're going to watch him on his flying lap this time. Yeah, of course. Of course. Right in the way. Ooh, how convenient. Okay, there we go. That's better. It was sector three. That was bad. We should be safe. I imagine there's a lot of track evolution on a track like this. But hopefully not enough to get bumped. Yeah, we're safe. Good decision in the end. 
Good decision to just do one run with Norris. All right, same set of tires. Norris could probably get through to Q3 with just the softs. See how he gets on. I'm not taking any chances. Oh, everyone's doing the same run plan. Which actually isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Norris can cheese his way ahead of everyone on high push modes. There we go. We're ahead of the queue. Head of the curve. Here we go. Clear run. Clear run. Four tenths difference. That's mostly in the tires. Norris might be all right. The Astri definitely needs to go again. I'll have the new tires ready for Lando just in case. A lot of free space actually on the, on the circuit, which is good. Can we get both cars into the next part of qualifying? That is the question. Yes is the answer. Piastri's in. So is Norris. Absolutely huge. 35-3 for Lando. That's the times we've got to, we've got to aim for for both cars. With that said, I mean, should we even run again? Piastri probably doesn't need to. Norris should qualify for getting higher up the grid. I don't, I don't know if Piastri has the pace to beat anyone else. It does get an extra set for this session for making it into Q3. Ah, uh, we may as well give it a go. We will give it a go. I didn't check Alpine. Gasly's 12th. Track Amazing. Should be green. We'll do our time at the end. Let's uh, go. Okay, here we go. We're going to fast forward with the lap, see where Norris gets across the line. P6, Piastri. I wasn't expecting anything greater than P10, if I'm honest. So, eighth place for Norris. Out qualifies Russell, uh, which will help a little bit in the grid penalty stakes. Pierre Gasly doesn't make Q3 and has a grid penalty, so that's good for us. Let's hope that Piastri can take the fight to Ocon, who's been so quick this weekend. It's been absolutely mental. But there we go. 35-1 PB for Lando in Q3. Oscar actually went slower, but it's okay because I, I really didn't think he had the pace anyway. I'm just happy that he made Q3. Here we go. Welcome. Uh, there it is. The three grid place penalty. P11. It's actually not too bad in the end. We're not really compromised to start this race. Now, let's have a look at race strategy. How many compounds do we have? Two fairly new softs, three sets of mediums, and a set of hards for Piastri. I think it'll be inverse of that. Maybe two sets of mediums for Norris, but three sets of softs. Wow. Medium, medium, hard is so good. All right. That's Oscar's strategy sorted. As for Lando, we can do medium, medium, hard as well. Just not too much compromise there. And if we get safety cars, we could switch to softs. I'm cooking again, chat. Two stopping. Medium, medium, hard is quicker. So I think that's what we'll do. But maybe I'll get the hard out of the way early. I'm going to start hards and then go medium, medium. Let's uh, let's get cracking. Hard, medium, medium. Absolutely huge. Safety car at some point will help one of the drivers. And that's what we need to beat Alpine today. Let's, uh, let's see if we can beat the might of the team from France. Secretly operate in, in Oxford, but you know. Uh, we'll ignore that. Time for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. We're all ready to go in Las Vegas. First time ever, by the way. And it's lights out. Off oh, we, we go. go. Oh, I didn't do I didn't do push modes off the start. That that's on me. That's on me, chat. Very quiet. Why is it so quiet? Stay close. It just went very quiet for a moment there. Press overtake. Yeah, confirm. I thought the atmosphere here was meant to be mental. Maybe uh, everyone's still picking themselves up from the night before. It's going to be a party tonight. Hopefully, McLaren have some things to cheer about as we face a battle with Lewis Hamilton on the opening lap. We momentarily got ahead of him, actually. On the hard compound tyres, no less. But let's see what tyres everyone else is on. Mediums and softs for the top 10. Lando's the only one on hard, so a late safety car for us would be good. Let Lando cook. Right now, everyone is kind of locked in. Fairly close battle. Let me deploy a little bit of battery on this lap to stay with for both cars. Not really eating much. This track might be good on battery as opposed to uh, F123. Loris is sticking with, which is good. And dropping Hamilton. Huge. Purple in the last sector. That was massive. Dropping Hulkenberg. 
See you later, mate. This is where we're going to have the massive battling on this back straight with DRS. DRS trains are going to be insane. Boris is sticking with, which is great. Any kind of safety car, I reckon we seriously consider boxing for Piastri at any moment. Stroll cooking in P2. Aston Martin have been very good this season. They're very good at low speed. Alpine are very good at high speed. So, depending on the circuit, it's a, it's a variation of whether Aston Martin or Alpine are the dark horse. Whereas we've always just been there. There or thereabouts. Massive DRS train. No one is getting away. Oh my god, things are kicking off here. Things are kicking off. We are still in. Still in range. Saving fuel. Absolutely huge. We're going defensive. What is this? Stroll's getting shuffled down. Ocon has, I think, moved back as well. He was in the top five. If we can have a shot at Ocon, that'll be that'll be huge for us. Maybe we start making some moves once the tires cool out a little bit. Oh, Hamilton on the move. No, it's Russell. Russell overtaking Verstappen. Surprise, there's been no crashes yet. I tell you what, Norris getting the slow tire out of the way while everyone's all backed up here. He's only going to set us up nicer at the back end of the race when the race is a lot more open. There's going to be so many more gaps and smaller DRS trains. We are going to be loving life. I want to see if we can get Verstappen. I want to make something happen. Try and increase the car calling a little bit more. Up the inside here. We get Verstappen. We're still up the inside of Verstappen here. Think about it's a sneaky it's little area to get to get a position when they're all backed up like this. I think we got him. Lovely stuff. Indeed. Pretty well executed. <laughs> Who's not got DRS here? Cool. It's Ocon. Ocon's not got DRS. Ah. On the outside gets Russell. Russell side by side. Oh, blocked in by. Of course you blocked us in. Of course. Thorn in our side all season. Why would that stop today? Why would that stop today? Get this guy out the way. Full attack modes. Get us to the front of the train, please. I like it. I like it a lot. We might be able to sneak a move on. Um, Hock on here. This is good enough. This is good track position. Doris, we can just chill. Doris is fine. Look at this. We just go driving clean air on Alonso. And surely we sail past with how long this DRS train is. Uh, with how long this straight is, rather. We get one. We get a second. Up the inside of Alonso. We are out of battery, but we're second in the train. And let him in. They let him in. Don't be nice to Alpine. They're never nice to us. Get him in the bin. They're the worst. We are clear. I actually don't want him to overtake here. I want DRS on the big straight. Norris is still chilling, by the way. Absolutely chilling. Do we get DRS now? Yes. Lovely stuff. Let's see if we can run away. Maybe. Okay. Push now. Push now. Push now. Drag Alonso along with us and drop Ocon. That makes life easier for Norris, potentially? One second. I think he's... I think he's out. Yeah, Ocon's in the bin. Ocon is in the bin. This is huge. Oh, well, we tried, guys. <laughs> We're going to get a Mahusiv undercut on everyone, though. This is fine. Holding up Ocon. We are going to box this lap. Boxing this lap for new mediums. Box, box, box. Oh, Alonso is boxing too from Sofs. So it's McLaren versus Aston Martin in the pit stops. Good stop, good stop, good stop. Yes! We jumped Aston Martin. Right. Very good. Perfect. Another good job well done. That's not janky at all. Yeah, we can we can break away on this tire. Both got cold tires. This is good. Good. Go Very nice. 
Other people on softs will be diving in. 28% for Perez. He is stretching. He might see punches. Does he box? He does. What tire does he go to? Hards. But yeah, this part of the race, we're going to be pretty quick. Might be worth trying to gravitate towards the front of this train now. Can we sneak past here? Can we sneak past? Up the inside, we love a little move up into here. No, not quite. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Let's just save ourselves then. I'm going to switch to a one-stop with Lando. Strolls in. Science is carrying on. What are your tires, bro? Hamilton is pitting now. 27%. Oh, and Piastri's on this guy. And the outsides. We got new tires. This should be easy. Should be easy. Clear. Very good. Lovely stuff. Go for it. Go for it. So yes. Clear We're clearing cars very nicely in traffic here. Gasly hasn't stopped yet. He's the next car. Let's make quick work of this dude. Try and increase the car calling a little bit more. Uh, yes. B9. This is looking good. It's looking good for Piastri. Free air right now and loving life. We're on to the next group of cars. Ferrari Red Bull. Science is the race leader. He's just boxed. And Piastri is now racing him. Let's have some fun. Norris could actually block these guys and help out Piastri for a potential win. Who knows? We're going to keep going with the full sends. These guys are all on... Okay, they're all on new hards. These are the race leaders we're now fighting. Norris has just got past the Mercedes without trying. Uh... Uh... Slow stop. Very slow stop for Red Bull. In the muds. Norris is second. Lando Norris is now second on pretty good tyres. And he's been saving. Clear boxes. Norris into the lead of the Grand Prix. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! We can break DRS to Russell here. And we can. 30% tires for him. That is GG. I don't know. Norris is looking really good here. Both cars are looking good on their different strats. AI at this stage look beatable. If there's a safety car, you know, when we need to box both cars, then we're looking pretty good. These guys keep squabbling. And that makes my life a lot easier. Oh my god. Norris could be going way quicker. I'm an idiot. Let's see how much quicker he goes now. It's not much difference in pace. This is now a fuel saving stint for Piastri. Once he gets on the new hards, he'll be flying. Both cars are stopping again, yeah. This is good. We're getting dragged away from Russell. Just another two laps. I reckon we'll box on lap 30 for Lando. Could get good points on Alpine here. Ocon's P10. Stuck. Absolutely stuck behind the uh, the Hamilton train. We have a good chance. A good chance for a podium, I beg. These guys are stuck right now. People, we're, we're, it's, it's Hamilton. Hamilton is the person we are trying to beat out of the pit lane. When we box. We don't want to emerge in this train because that would set us back to the stone age really i'm gonna get lando to push now to try and overcut lewis hamilton and come out on better tires that would make our race the astro needs to get back in drs it's not quite time to box but it will be soon norris will be out of battery he's out of battery now but once he depletes his allotment for this next lap that's when we're going to box him his pace is also going to drop off quite a bit last lap 39.4 good pace Good pace. Time to box now for mediums. Give me everything, Lando. Here we go. This is it, chat. Moment of truth. Can we jump Lewis Hamilton? Great stint from Lando on those hards. Most of the race on one tire. Good stop. Good stop. Good stop. Good stop. Here's the fight. Where's Norris coming out? Come on, what's that line out of there? We are clear, I think. At least we're not smothered by the train. We're not smothered by the train, at least. Let's go. Oh. 
safety. You two can keep battling. That would do me nicely. You can tell Lando's going to be quick once those tires warm up. He's already, like, nearly out of DRS range. We can just break DRS. These guys will be very happy. Give it to me. Can use overtake. Run away. Yep, Run away. We don't want to be in the fight with these guys. Not at all. We break away. We're laughing. Nine tenths. One second. Yes. It's done. <laughs> Piastri is in a fight for the podium. As is Norris. But Piastri has the box again. These guys don't. What are the tires like? 60 odd percent. They're not going to be in great shape by the end. I will say that. Uh, might be time to box. We've dropped out of range. There we go. Hard tires on. 2.0 second stop. That might be the fastest pit stop of the season. Huge. I'd rather have good tires for the end. Gastry isn't good on his tires and, and he can just go full attack with this. Okay. We let the drivers do their thing now. E5. Good day in the championship. Piastri could get involved with this as well. Last lap. 39 zero. Oh, we're slower. Could just be car pace coming into it now. Perez going slow, backing up the uh, the race leaders. Last lap. 38-4, 38-9. 3 for Piastri. Very quick. Piastri's going to be on these guys next lap. 10 laps to go. Boom. DRS. For Oscar. I'm going to pick through these guys one by one. And by the end, I want to get like P7. I want to get ahead of the Alpine. Gasly's in the mud. This could be a good day for us. If there's a safety car now, we are loving life. We can and we will get Max. Tire temps don't matter. It's quicker if we just yeet them. Just maximize that car cooling. There's one. I think Russell's low on ERS. Yeah, there's one. I think the race leaders are battling as well. Sweet. They are battling. All send up into here. Okay, we take that. Bit of ghosting enabled in the lobby. In the points. And there was seven seconds off the leaders who are all squabbling. Potentially holding each other up. And are on old tires. Yeah, they're all holding each other up. All right, who's next? Ocon 8. Alonso, who was in the top fight, is now... Really going anywhere in this one? Let's get another one now. Let's get another one. Come on, come on, mate. Let's close up. Come on, mate. Cool. Can we? By side by side. I think he's got another one. He's got another one. Let's go, guys. You guys were questioning the hards, but now they can push all race long. This could save our season. This could get us ahead of Alpine. Six seconds. Norris to the next car. Yes, one, or two, or none, or one, one will do, and it's the car we care about as well, it's Alpine. Up the inside of Ocon into the first corner. Job done. Let's chill out now a little bit, let's save some resources, get ready for the next fight. We're now far ahead up in the train, that now we could probably benefit on the person who doesn't have DRS. What's Lando doing? 38-0. We're catching by a second, maybe two seconds a lap. It's going to be spicy by the end. Whoa! Wait. We could overtake here. We could overtake here. We can overtake. He's got round the outside of the Williams. Somehow he's got round the outside of the Williams while cruising. We'll take that one for free. P7. If we get P5, P6 minimum in this race, we are loving life. Oh my word, guys. I didn't see this coming. I thought we'd be on the ropes with car management and cost cap and all of our parts that we had left. Now we're loving life. Lovely stuff. We are clear. P5 and P6. Ocon in the bin. Alpine in the bin. Last lap. There are four laps to go. Still catching. Still catching the leaders. So make sure we have all the battery, all the fuel, all of the tires, all of the time. We are safe. We're safe to Albon. That's all that matters. I think we're good with Piastri for the time being. What's this fight that's going on here? This is for the lead of the Grand Prix. And then just in the background, you'll see us. 
three seconds behind. We got battery, but I want to save that battery for when we get there. What are their tires on? 40 odd percent. Perez is in the muds. Um. Okay. Okay. Let him cook. Maybe try and break DRS now. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. This might... This is at our own risk. If we could then not worry about Piastri, I would love that. Oh my god, I think we've done it. We have ditched the train. We've checked out. All right, two seconds now from Norris to victory. Well, the fight for victory. Last lap of the Grand Prix. Oscar Piastri is clear in P6. Lando Norris could get on the podium, maybe. Cool. Let's hope these guys' tires die off. And you are the fastest on track. Cool. What? All right, we got fastest lap. Absolutely huge. Maybe we should have gone for it a little bit early with Lando. A little. Mm, come on, mate. Full sense. We think a little bit more like We're in the DRS. After this straight. Yes, we will be. We will be in DRS. Stroll does not have DRS. Oh, my God. Lando, it's time to try and start uh, taking cars in front. Oh, my yeah. God. Let's go. Come on. Get to the outside. Go, get, just take a different line, please. A different line. It's all I'm asking. Oh, my God. What's going on? Bro, you could have had him. Oh, my God. We're going to lose out. We lost out. And he gets fast and slap back. No. Oh, my word. That's the closest we've come to winning a race, I think. That was very good pace out of nowhere from both cars. P5 and P6. That alone might get us ahead of Alpine. Norris has run out of fuel. <laughs> what a race. If that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. Charles Leclerc wins. I didn't even take that in. Leclerc wins for Ferrari. We get a 5-6. That's honestly one of the best team results we've had all season. And it comes at a time where we've been on the ropes. We've been on the back foot, both with uh, the car development, finances, car components, a lot of things. I did not expect this result. That is absolutely massive. Lando does the one stop. Oscar does the two. And it comes together. Oh, so beautifully. 137.3 versus 137.4. To be honest, Lando nearly got the fastest lap as well. Driver standings. Eh, Lando's going to finish P9. Oscar really needs to score more points than that this season. P12, an extra eight points. One of the best results of the season for him. Constructors. Uh, we overtake Alpine. Heading into the last race. The difference is two points. That is going to be a fight worth watching as we head into Abu Dhabi. Finally, we get into the top five. All that car development, all that spending might finally be worth it. We just need to clutch up in the last race. Uh, pit stops are good too. So we're looking good in that championship. Which are not close enough to Red Bull. But I think we got P2 penciled in for this uh, championship. So that's a cheeky bit of... I don't know, maybe 10 mil heading our way for that. So that'll be nice. 3.7 mil added to the tally. So we're going to have a good amount of money to start next season. It's just whether we uh, stay underneath the cost cap. That remains to be the question. 17 mil that we just can't spend right now. <sighs> but there we go. Red Bull locked away the constructors. Uh, Max has definitely won the drivers as well. There we go. It is all to play for. P5 in the Constructors in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Join me for the season finale at Abu Dhabi. It might be the final ever F1 Manager video I upload to my main channel. Because I think next year I'm going to go my second channel. But next season I think I'm going on my second channel as well. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to that to see that journey continue. Thank you so much for watching. Until the season finale, we'll see you next time.